Jesus' name. And today, as we minister, we're just asking you to worship with us. The song we'll be doing it says, Praise is what I do. And if we know what the song is talking about, then we know what we're supposed to be doing. It's not about us just doing it because we want to do it, but it's because it is our duty. It is mandatory when it comes down to God. So as we worship today, as we sing, as the men sing today, worship with us. Jesus.
Amen? Amen. So just close your eyes for a moment. Close your eyes. Lift those hands. Stand on your feet. And just worship Him. Just say something to Him. I don't know what you have to say. But just even though I say, Lord, I owe it to you. I don't have to hear what you say. I don't have to understand. I don't even have to know what you say. You don't even have to understand why you said what you said. One thing you need to know is that you owe it unto Him. And so just spend that one that minute or so on. Just worship Him. Tell Him something. Feel good in yourself. Feel good in yourself because you owe it unto Him. Man. Come on.
Savior's love. Come to church. I said, Brother Hugh, we have an anchor. Call the members, we have an anchor. So now ISIS ain't gonna move us. Nothing that America does or allowed to happen will move us because we are steadfast and sure while the bills roll. Yes. 
solve all problems to. Only God alone we can share it to. Only God alone we can go on our knees and address it. Just tell it all problems. Many of us. Many of us are facing it. What I say to you, my sisters and my brothers today, let Jesus be your defense. He is willing to go and defend you, brother Alvin, out of or in any situation that you know face. And so I'm saying to your friends, let him stand in the gap for you. Turn your Bibles with me to the book of Psalms 35. That's where we're going to work from today. And many of us that are here, we have had cases. Many years of cases <laughs> to our side. <laughs> Oh, cases of what? I wonder if you're listening to me today. Many of us that are here, we have had many cases put down, throw down in the corner, need the attention of Jesus Christ. Many of us, we have had cases that we, we need Jesus to plead for us. Not only that we must plead the blood of Jesus for our situation, but we must seek Jesus and we must allow him to plead our case before our enemies. Plead our case before those that are that are treating us unjust. Plead our case before those that are ill-treating us. Plead our case to the situation that has been dealing with us so many years. No, that's still dealing with us. Can I say that again? I am saying to somebody today, you might have had many cases that have stuck up on you and now you are at this place where you need to seek Jesus' attention to plead those cases for you. Yeah. The rest of the devil is going to hold you down for a long time. And so I heard Psalms 35 and verse 1 say, Plead my case. Come to church. You need to understand here, man, that you have a case that Jesus must plead over it right now. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it is dear. Something is dear that we need Jesus to plead over today. And it cannot pass today. Can I tell the church something? It must not pass today. Today, Jesus needs to be your liar, your barrister. And even your judge to set you free. Hallelujah. I'm saying something in your life. Something must be taken away from you today. Amen. If I'm talking to somebody, touch yourself and say, Today, Jesus. Today, I am saying to your friends, Jesus is standing in the gap for you. So you can, you can say to him, Plead my case. I don't want to go to the old Lord you know. I want us to stop right there and understand what is happening within those three words. Plead my case. Those three words, you need to let them, be, let them apply to you right now. Plead. Plead, Jesus. Oh God, look over my case right now. Look over what is happening to me, Jesus. My cause, case, cause, all right, case, cause, all right, it, it works together, all right, somebody said it's cause, case, I'm, I want to use the word case, all right, there are the translations that give us it, I want to use the word case, plead over it, Jesus, hear what is, what is happening to me here, I have a case that you must pay attention to, I brought it before you now, Jesus, Yes, I prayed about it already. I see your attention already. I see your approval. But God, it is more urgent now. I have this case, God, that you must take care of. You know, you know what it is. And so I want you to, to allow Jesus to stand in the gap and to defend you right now. Jesus is here to defend you from anything or everything that you are going through. So take up that case now in your hands, in your mind, and present it to Jesus. Now I like that the two words that followed. He said, oh Lord, now we are addressing Jesus with our situation. 
this one. Oh Lord, we sung so many times. Oh Lord, hear my prayer when I call on you musicians. Hear my cry when I call on you. Now is that place where you are, you're calling on Jesus. No, oh Lord, no. What, why, why are you calling on Jesus? Because you have a kiss. Now listen to the case that David had. I want you Lord to plead my case on my cause, oh Lord. Listen, with those that are what? God, the word of you know it in the man. With those that are striving against me. I'm putting the word against there. Against this word of But I want to put in the word against right here. God, plead my case. I, I, I mean, but against those that are striving against me, God. I don't want any of us to be able to be like never to use Chris and Curry. Every one of us have our problems in our corner dealing with. Yeah. Yeah. And so I want you to let it out. I want you to put it before Jesus. I want you to let it know that this is a case I brought to you today to deal with. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come against those that are striving against the Lord. Those that are, that are, that are you know, molesting me and believing that everything is alright. Those that are molesting me and God it seems as though I am nowhere to be found. Or you are nowhere to be found, God. They are having the upper hand of me right now. I want to tell you this as it jumped in my spirit. There are some of us that are here today which our situation are having the upper hand of us. Because look, if we go down in that chapter, we will see verse verse, verse 22, I believe, when I go in there, where David had thought that God was nowhere to be found, but I'm not going so far. I'm staying within these three verses for us to understand that our case today, we must bring it to Jesus. Because it is high time. Amen. And so ask him to look into it, look into the matter of Jesus. Too long my neighbor is striving. Too long this thing has been striving. Too long this thing has had me down. Too long. And so now I want you, God, to come on the scene and spear me. God, I want you not only to, 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 to come against those that strive with me, but I want you to come against those that are against you. Do you know that there are things that are against you? Do you know that there are people that are against you? Do you know that some things that are cursed in your life, they are against you? Huh? Do you know that sickness is against you? Huh? It is against your will. It is against your purpose. It is against your desire. I'm saying to somebody today, those are the cases to which I'm alluding to here. Can I say this also? That even sin in our lives are against us. And such a case today, I'm saying to you, bring it before Jesus. Amen. Jesus want to be your defense today. He want to stand and defend you from even the wages of sin. And so I'm saying to somebody right now, look in your life, look in ourselves and see what is against us. See who is against us. See why those things are against us. And see the intervention of Almighty God. David knew that. He sought it. And so he said in verse 2, God, I just don't only want you to come and strive for those that strive with me. I don't want you to come against those that are against me. But I want you, God, to stand up now, Jesus. I want you to pick up your buckler and shield and stand up for my help. And this time, friends, you need help. Yeah. We need help. Yeah. And the help is here today. Just to help us of our sins, to help us of our weaknesses, to help us of our sicknesses, to help us out of every condition. Yes. We have some conditions struggling with. Choir yes. members, we have some conditions struggling with. Yes. But it's time for us to stand up and allow Jesus to take up his shield and his butler and fight for us. Stand up for us. But you know why sometimes he can't stand up for us? Because we are not standing up for him. Yeah. We are not taking the stand for him. We are 
and not standing up when we need to be standing up for him. I'm saying, I'm calling on us today to stand up, stand up for Jesus. Music, I touch something, man. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. He's soldiers of the cross. Let his royal banner. He said, we must not, it must not suffer loss. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Say, soldiers of the cross. Leave I his royal banner. It must not suffer loss. From victory unto victory, his holy shall he be. He then, the King of glory, shall reign eternally. I'm saying to us, friends, we need to stand up for Jesus so he can stand up for us. He can put on his shield and his buckler and he can stand up and fight on our behalf. We cannot fight the battle. We will not win the victory. But today I'm saying that Jesus stand in the gap for you. Whatever you're fighting with, whatever your wrestling is, whatever your, your stronghold is over, that stronghold is over you. Jesus is here to stand in the gap for you. He's willing to go before you and help fight your victories. And I like verse 3. God not only must take out the, 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 the shield and the buckler, the buckler, but I want you, God, to take out the spear. Come on, church. <laughs> God, I want you to draw out your spear. You know what I want to call the spear today? The word of God. And many of us are losing it. Many of us are lacking in the word of God. And so he cannot fight for us. I'm saying to somebody today, if we want our anchor to hold firm, we have to use the sword of God. Amen. I heard the writer say that word is like a twisted sword, sharper than anything, piercing even the giants and the morals and the intent of the heart. I'm saying, friends, when you call on Jesus, a word will minister to your soul and you will be delivered. Somebody clap your hand for Jesus in the house. I'm saying, when you trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean up to my own understanding. But in all our ways, acknowledge God's word. I'm saying he will direct our oh, paths. What are you struggling with today? I heard him blessing Jesus. Somebody sing that song. But I ask what are you struggling with? Brother, 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 sing that song. Jesus, Jesus. You, you know the song. You song. Somebody struggling with something today. Somebody struggling with something today.
I'm not going to heal you. Sometimes we are so living freely that we forget that the enemy is looking at us. He's looking in you to come in and destroy and finish your life. But I hear to say to you tonight, I'm going 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 to say to
set up a home rejoice in God, and may your soul remain in peace with you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost, I ask all these mercies. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Will you may go back to your seat? If there's a soul that is standing at the altar, who need to see, who need to, to be saved, who can still remain there and come to you. If there's a soul that is standing at the altar, who came to seek the Lord, you can still remain standing. And I will go and minister to you. I say that again with my eyes closed. If there's a soul that came to the altar, who wants to be saved, Zoom on. Just stand at the altar, and I will minister to you mm. in Jesus' name. Church, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Say hallelujah, church. You see, if we just listen to the Spirit, some of you might see me standing on the bench or I'm going to ask you, I wonder, why am I here? I don't know the streets of Stand on the Bench. So I stand on the bench. When the streets speak, you listen. Yes. You understand? This young man, the Spirit showed me this young man. He was so into everything, but something was there. I'm not going to ask him why. What? I'm not going to ask him what. I just want to ask him this question. My brother, do you want to give your life to Jesus right now? Boy, maybe the church didn't hear that. I'm going to ask him again because I want the church to hear. And he's going he's gonna to say it again, you know, do you want to give your life to the Lord right now? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. The devil knows what was going to happen here today. And so he tried. He tried with some of you from morning at your home. I know that. You don't have to tell me. I know that the devil tried with some of you this morning before you came here. I know you put up a fight this morning before you came here. Because the devil wanted to stop something that was in progress. But the devil is a liar. The sister that came here today and sing that song in vain. God sent her here for that purpose. To remind us, Jesus, Jesus. And that song ministered as well to this young man. And the devil knows again. Turn around, my brother. Turn around. Hallelujah. I want, I want to be the first person to tell you I love you. And I'm inviting, I'm welcoming you and the family of God. And I'm going to be a father to you. I'm going to be a brother to you. I'm going to be a pastor to you. I'm going to be everything to you. Because I saw, so I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Do you believe that Jesus is Christ, the Son of the living God? Yes. Certainly, I believe. I believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the Living God, the Son of the Living God. And I am willing, and I am willing to follow Him, to follow Him in water of baptism, in water of baptism, and to take Him, and to take Him as Lord of my life, as Lord of my life. Say hallelujah, Say hallelujah.